What's up, y'all? Sorry for the background. My parents are hanging up lights. But anyways, it's your boy Taz be grinding. Today, we're going to be installing a coder intake. A little bit more performance. So, yeah. I'm about to show you guys the steps of installing it. My way. Alright, guys. So, first thing, going to knock off all the tools required, which is right here. So, pliers, check. Flathead, check. Alley wrenches are inside this box, check. The Torx bit, the twenty, the T twenty Torx bit is in that box. My ratchet and my ten millimeter socket. Let's get to it. So we gotta grab the ten millimeter socket to take the negative battery terminal off the battery. All right, as you guys see, we got that off. So on to the next part. Guys, that took a lot longer now. I just better do it. You know what my ability. I only got these three fingers, so if I could do it, you can do it. Alright, now we gotta get rid of this this boat using our flathead screw that's connecting the throttle body to well connecting it. The air box, the air tube. Okay, after you unscrew that, you just gotta pull it off. Okay, I hooked that because it looked like that was gonna come off when I put it up. Next screw we got is the screw connected to the airbox itself, and that is this right here. So let's get into that. Okay, so I noticed one thing from the dealer. They forgot to hook my sound tube up to this right here. It's literally unhooked. When I took it off, it was just hanging. So I'm actually happy that I decided to do this today. So the next thing we gotta do is unbolt the mass air force sensor from the stock air box. And then after that, you will be able to take the, the stock air box out. One thing before I take this out, you want to make sure you wrap this in something because I swear my last car gave me so much problems even if you get the tiniest bit of dust on these things, man. Alright, next thing we got, we're just taking the air box out. Like so. I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but there we go. It looks pretty restrictive to me. Just saying. So now it should look a, a little something like this. You just got the motor, little just the throttle body sitting there and the empty space where the new intake is gonna go. So I was reading the instructions manual and it was very accurate actually. The rubber inserts came out when I pulled the box out. So we gotta make those on their way back into the original spots. Now we just gotta place it where it's gonna go. Okay, now I forgot that this kit came with the um the spacer in it with the seals so you don't get the whistle, the end cap and whistle noise that everybody is getting. So they kind of fixed that with this um this throttle body spacer right here and the seal. So I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna try to put my extender on my socket so I don't have to take the throttle, the um the throttle body um sensor off. So so yeah, what a motor, but yeah. Actually, we had a change of plans. I got my uh, spark plug, my spark plug tool right here. It just so happens to be 10 millimeters. As you can see, you gotta locate it. This is the top. That little point gotta go inside there. If I, if I wasn't in my condition, this would've been done in 15 minutes. There we go. We're gonna. Make sure it's facing like this. That point has to go inside of the motor, basically. So it's on the outside of the throttle body. There we go. 
They said you gotta twist the 80 foot pounds of torque. I don't have any torque wrench, so I, I twist them today with tight and gave them all like another three fourths of a turn. I didn't do too much. You don't want to strip any bolts. So a good thing to do before you start working on your car, always put a towel down so you don't scratch your paint inside the car, outside the car. It's a good thing to do. All right, so the next part we gotta do is we gotta install the mass airflow sensor back into the replacing tubing where the stock one was at, so yeah. Okay, I didn't think it was gonna be that hard to install this like this, so I had to take the top off of the coder intake and then put it all together while this is off. Now we got that installed onto the next part. We gotta take these little silver things off. They say it's easy to come off just with a flathead screwdriver, so. Okay, so we do have to just, you gotta just. Here we go, so he got both pieces out. There you go. Here's the new piece. It is smart to loosen up these before you try and install it, the clamps, so. Fitting this thing on is crazy. Yo, this is some tough fitment, man. Okay, I'm gonna do a little quick before and after. This is what it looks like now. 10 times better, man. Looks clean. That's the old thing, that bulky thing. So I'm gonna give you guys what it sounds like before and after. guys and that was the end okay guys and that was it for today's video okay guys and that was it for today's video hope y'all enjoy i'm out